Hello and welcome to The Real Film. We are here to provide you with a list of the top 10 best Tom Cruise movies by IMDb. Kindly remember to like, comment and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Now let's start the video. Number 10. Vanilla Sky. Vanilla Sky is a 2001 American science fiction thriller film directed, written, and co-produced by Cameron Crowe. It stars Tom Cruise, Penelope Cruz, Cameron Diaz, Jason Lee, and Kurt Russell. It was nominated for an Academy Award for Best Original Song, and Diaz was nominated for a Screen Actors Guild and Golden Globe Award. The plot center is on David Alms, the owner of a large publishing company he inherited from his father, is in prison. Wearing a prosthetic mask, David tells his life story to court psychologist Dr. Curtis McCabe. In flashbacks, David leaves the duties of the publisher to his father's trusted associates while living as a playboy in Manhattan. He is introduced to Sophia Serrano by his best friend, Brian Shelby, during a party. David and Sophia spend the night together at Sophia's apartment and fall in love, unaware that David's current lover, Julie Gianni, has followed them there. As David leaves, Julie offers him a ride, and soon reveals her jealousy of Sophia. She purposely crashes the car, killing herself and disfiguring David. The film was released on December 14, 2001. On Rotten Tomatoes the film has an approval rating of 43% based on reviews from 174 critics and an average rating of 5.30 tenths with a rating of 6.9 by IMDb. Number 9. Magnolia. Magnolia is a 1999 American epic psychological drama film written, directed and co-produced by Paul Thomas Anderson. It stars an ensemble cast, including Jeremy Blackman, Tom Cruise, Melinda Dillon, Philip Baker Hall, Philip Seymour Hoffman, Ricky Jay, William H. Macy, Alfred Molina, Julianne Moore, Michael Murphy, John C. Riley, Jason Robards, in his final film role, and Melora Walters. The film has a mosaic of interrelated characters in search of happiness, forgiveness, and meaning in the San Fernando Valley. The script was inspired by the music of Amy Mann, who contributed several songs to its soundtrack. The film opens with three unrelated stories of deaths under synchronistic circumstances. Officer Jim Curring investigates a disturbance at a woman's apartment, finding a body in a closet. Dixon, a neighborhood boy, tries to tell him who committed the murder. Jim goes to the apartment of Claudia Wilson. Her neighbors called the police after she argued with her estranged father, Jimmy Gator, and blasted music while snorting cocaine. Unaware of her addiction, Jim asks her on a date. Jimmy hosts a quiz show called What Do Kids Know? and is dying of cancer. The newest child prodigy on the show, Stanley Spector, is hounded by his father for the prize money and demeaned by the adults, who prevent him from using the bathroom during a commercial break. When the show resumes, he wets himself. It was released on December 17, 1999, limited release, and January 7, 2000, wide release. On Rotten Tomatoes, the film holds an approval rating of 83% based on 147 reviews, with an average rating of 7. 50 tenths with a rating of 8 BTIMDB. Number 8. Edge of Tomorrow. Edge of Tomorrow, also known as Live Die Repeat, Edge of Tomorrow, is a 2014 American science fiction action film starring Tom Cruise and Emily Blunt with Bill Paxton and Brendan Gleeson in supporting roles. Directed by Doug Lehman with a screenplay written by Christopher McQuarrie and the writing team of Jez and John Henry Butterworth, its story is adapted from the 2004 Japanese light novel All You Need Is Kill by Hiroshi Sakurazaka. Set in 2015, aliens called Mimics arrive in Germany via an asteroid and swiftly conquer most of continental Europe. By 2020, the United Defense Force UDF, a global military alliance established to combat the alien threat, finally achieves a victory over the Mimics at Verdun using newly developed mech suits. In Britain, the UDF plans a major invasion of France, and General Brigham orders recently attached public affairs officer Major William Bill Cage to cover it. Gage, having no combat experience, objects and threatens to blame Brigham if the invasion fails. Brigham has Cage arrested and sent to Heathrow Airport, now a military base. Cage awakens to find Brigham has demoted him to a private and falsely labeled him a deserter. He is assigned to Master Sergeant Farrell and the Misfit J Squad, all of whom dislike and belittle him. The film was released on May 28, 2014, London IMAX, and June 6, 2014, United States. Based on 335 reviews, review aggregation website Rotten Tomatoes reports that 91% of critics gave the film a positive review, with a rating average of 7. 5 tenths with a rating of 7.9 by IMDb. Number 7. Minority Report. 
Minority Report is a 2002 American science fiction action film directed by Steven Spielberg, loosely based on the 1956 short story The Minority Report by Philip K. Dick. The cast stars Tom Cruise as pre-crime chief John Anderton, Colin Farrell as Department of Justice agent Danny Witwer, Samantha Morton as pre-cog Agatha Lively, and Max von Sydow as pre-crime director Lamar Burgess. The film is set in 2054, the federal government plans to nationally implement the Washington, D.C prototype pre-crime police program. Three clairvoyant humans, precogs, receive psychic impressions of an impending homicide, and officers analyze their visions to determine the crime's location and apprehend the perpetrator before the crime occurs. Would-be killers are placed in an electrically induced coma and held in a panopticon-like prison facility. Although pre-crime has eliminated nearly all premeditated murders during its six-year existence, spontaneous crimes of passion called red ball killings, which give police an hour or less to stop the murder, still occur. Commanding Officer John Anderton joined the pre-crime program after his son, Sean, was kidnapped and never found. He is depressed, addicted to a drug called Neuroin, and his wife Lara has left him. The film was released on June 19, 2002, Ziegfeld Theater, and June 21, 2002, United States. On the review aggregator Rotten Tomatoes, Minority Report received 90% positive reviews based on 254 critics and an average rating of 8. 20 tenths with a rearing of 7.6 by IMDb. Number 6. Risky Business. Real as Mrs. Goodson, Richard Mazur as Bill Rutherford, Curtis Armstrong as Miles Dalby and Bronson Pinchot as Barry. The film was released on August 5, 1983, United States. The film holds a 92% certified fresh rating on the review aggregate website Rotten Tomatoes based on 50 reviews, with an average of 7. 40 tenths, with a rating of 6.8 by IMDb. Number 5. Rain Man. Rain Man is a 1988 American road comedy drama film directed by Barry Levinson and written by Barry Morrow and Ronald Bass. In the movie, collectibles dealer Charlie Babbitt is in the middle of importing four gray market Lamborghinis to Los Angeles for resale. He needs to deliver the cars to impatient buyers, who have already made down payments, in order to repay the loan he took out to buy them, but the EPA is holding the cars at the port because they have failed emission tests. Charlie directs an employee to lie to the buyers while he stalls his creditor. When Charlie learns that his estranged father Sanford Babbitt has died, he and his girlfriend Susanna travel to Cincinnati in order to settle the estate. He inherits only a group of rose bushes and a classic 1949 Buick Roadmaster convertible over which he and his father had clashed, while the remainder of the $3 million estate is going to an unnamed trustee. He learns that the money is being directed to a local mental institution, where he meets his elder brother, Raymond of whom he was unaware his whole life. The cast include, Dustin Hoffman as Raymond Ray Babbitt, Tom Cruise as Charles Charlie Babbitt, Valeria Galino as Susanna, Jerry Molin as Dr. Gerald Bruner, Ralph Seymour as Lenny and Michael D. Roberts as Vern. Rain Man premiered at the 39th Berlin International Film Festival, where it won the Golden Bear, the festival's highest prize. It was theatrically released by MGM slash U8 Communications Company in the United States on December 16, 1988. On review aggregator website Rotten Tomatoes the film holds an approval rating of 89% based on 133 reviews, with an average rating of 8. 10 tenths with a rating of 8 by IMDb. Number 4. Jerry Maguire. Jerry Maguire is a 1996 American romantic sports comedy drama film written, produced, and directed by Cameron Crowe. It stars Tom Cruise, Cuba Gooding Jr., Renee Zellweger, and Regina King. Produced a collateral. Collateral is a 2004 American neo-noir action thriller film directed and produced by Michael Mann from a script by Stuart Beatty and starring Tom Cruise and Jamie Foxx. The supporting cast includes Jada Pinkett Smith, Mark Ruffalo, Peter Berg, Javier Bardem, and Bruce McGill. In the movie, Max DeRocher is a meticulous Los Angeles cab driver trying to earn enough to start his own limousine business. One of the evening's fares is federal prosecutor Annie Farrell who works for the U.S. Attorney for the Central District of California. On the drive to her office, they strike up a conversation and Annie gives Max her business card. Max's next fare is Vincent. Vincent tells Max that he is in Los Angeles for one night to complete a real estate deal, and offers Max $600 to drive him to several locations. Initially reluctant to violate regulations, Max eventually agrees. As Max waits at the first stop, a corpse falls onto his car. Vincent reveals himself to be a hitman and the body is one of five targets. He forces Max to hide the body in the trunk and continue driving. 
Collateral was released in the United States on August 6, 2004, and grossed over $220 million worldwide. On the review aggregator Rotten Tomatoes, the film has an approval rating of 86% based on 238 reviews, with an average rating of 7. 5 tenths with a rating of 7.5 by IMDb. Number 2. The Last Samurai. The Last Samurai is a 2003 epic period action drama film directed and co-produced by Edward Swick. The film stars Ken Watanabe in the title role, with Tom Cruise, who also co-produced, as a soldier turned samurai who befriends him, and Timothy Spall, Billy Connolly, Tony Goldwyn, Hiroyuki Sanada, Koyuki, and Shinko Yamada in supporting roles. Set in 1876, former U.S. Army Captain Nathan Algren, a skilled soldier who has become a bitter alcoholic traumatized by the atrocities he committed during the American Indian Wars, is approached by his former commanding officer Colonel Bagley. Bagley asks him to train the newly created Imperial Japanese Army for a Japanese businessman, Omura, who intends to use the army to suppress a samurai-headed rebellion against Japan's new emperor. Despite his hatred of Bagley, the impoverished Algren takes the job for the money. He is accompanied to Japan by his old friend, Sergeant Zebul Gant. Upon arriving, Algren meets Simon Graham, a British translator knowledgeable about the samurai. In the United States, review aggregator Rotten Tomatoes reports that 66% of critics have given the film a positive review based on 223 reviews, with an average score of 6. 40 tenths with a ranking of 7.8 by IMBD. Number 1. Mission Impossible. Mission Impossible is a 1996 American action spy film directed by Brian De Palma and produced by and starring Tom Cruise. It also stars John Voight, Emmanuel Bayard, Henry Cherney, Ving Rhames, Kristen Scott Thomas, Vanessa Redgrave, and Jean Reno. In Mission Impossible, Ethan Hunt, Cruise, seeks to uncover who framed him for the murders of most of his Impossible Missions Force IMF, team. In the movie, after finishing a mission in Kiev, Jim Phelps and his latest IMF team are sent to Prague to stop rogue agent Alexander Galitsyn from stealing the CIA knock list. However, the mission unexpectedly fails after the list is stolen and the team is killed one by one, along with Galitsyn, leaving Phelps's pointman Ethan Hunt the only survivor. Hunt is debriefed by IMF director Eugene Kittredge in a restaurant. Hunt realizes that another IMF team was present during the mission and learns that the operation was a setup to lure out a mole within the IMF with the help of Galitsyn who was posing as the rogue agent. The mole is believed to be working with an arms dealer named Max as part of Job 314. Realizing that Kittredge suspects he is the mole, Hunt escapes by using exploding chewing gum given to him before the mission. Mission Impossible was theatrically released in the United States by Paramount on May 22, 1996. On Rotten Tomatoes, the film holds an approval rating of 67%, based on 63 reviews, with an average rating of 6. One tenth, and it has a rating of 7.1 by IMDb. That's it for today. Thank you for watching this video, and do subscribe to our channel.